All right, guys, this is one of the... All right, guys, I just wanted to show you guys this crawl that I was using right here. This is the Carl's Amazing Baits. Um, I went through the whole pack, actually, right here. This is called the Hoss Craw. Comes in a clamshell like this. Um, it, man, it was killing it, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys um, the rig I was using. I started off with a quarter ounce tungsten uh, flipping weight. And then uh, as it got a little bit windier, I went over to that uh, 3 8 ounce size right there. So, And the combo I was throwing that on was the Powell 753 medium extra fast spinning rod. Um, this is a good shaky head and Texas rig rod, really, really nice. And I have just a ardent uh, bolt spinning reel on there. Got him. Since we got spinning gear, grab the net. Boom, baby. Top on the mouth. Boom. There we go, guys. How about that one? That's a nice fish of Carl's Amazing Baits Crawl right there. A little uh, tungsten weight on a 4 uh, EWG hook. That's a nice one right there, guys. Beautiful fish. Just gorgeous right there. That's the ones we're looking for, guys. All right, we're gonna get this girl back in the water. That's just a, a really nice, healthy bass right there. Thanks for biting, big girl. Appreciate it. Pitching around some of these docks. Yes. Yes, sir. Get over here, you little stinker. There we go. Look at that, guys. He's actually got some. He got some red in his tail there. So he could have been definitely. Yeah, he's definitely bloodied up. So I guarantee this little fish is going to start making a bed very shortly. Or he's on a bed already because that tail is bloody. So um, that's a sign that could be a little male guarding a bed right there. He's definitely got signs of red fins and red tail there. So get him back. I'll get right back in there and see if there's a female. See if there's a female down there. Same exact spot. I mean, I guess the other one could have been a female, and this is a small male right there. Very possible. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. 
Let me line back up. Might be a small one. He got one of my pinchers, but he should still bite. A bad little largemouth. Get him back. There he was. There he was. I can't believe it. See if we can find some more. Find a little pattern today. Carl's amazing baits. A little Texas rig craw pattern today. Take it over the square bill. Been catching so many Dane fish on that square bill. I'd like to switch it up. <laughs> There's one. Yes. Yes. in the boat that's what we're talking about right there clouds are actually starting to move in here nice little fish happy to be catching them on this craw it's been the same crawfish so far for a while i mean it's definitely beat up we're just trying to make it last as much as possible it's got one claw on there the plastics all tore up it's actually bit off a little bit to keep it on but we're making it do I don't know how many more we can land with this one, but <laughs> we're making it happen. There was a hit. Got him. <laughs> we got him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Get in that stinking boat. Woo! God. That's what I'm talking about right there. You get in the boat and you like it. Oh, yeah. Get me out of that sunlight real quick so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Perfect. There we go, man. Nice little bass. Nice and healthy right there nice see you buddy i appreciate you go tell your mama i'm looking for her now let me know if she's there because it's gonna come right back in there for her is she waiting back there for me or what hmm? she should be Got my claw. Let's see if he eats it without the claw. Don't worry, I'm coming right back in there for you. There it is. Same Dane bite. That's a nice one. That's yeah, a nicer one. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh my god, look at this fish. That is a unique fish. 
Yo guys, look at this fish. Look how unique he is. You guys see that like tint of like blue or whatever that is right there? He's got it on top of his head and around him. He's got some black spots. That or he's just a discolored one. Like I don't know. That looks crazy. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. But wow, he looks really unique. He actually bit maybe two or three times before I caught him too. But really nice and healthy. Let's get him back in the water. Wow, he's cool. He is cool. We are on that dock pattern. Got him. Oh. Ooh wee. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Ooh. Another, another nice quality bass, man. We are really figuring them out now, uh, catching them off these docks and in the front. Not really up beside them, really, but more towards the front in that deeper water. Seems like they're all hanging around there. I mean, there's a good solid two pound fish right there. Go ahead and grab it back in the water, but gorgeous fish right there. Catching them all on this Carl's Amazing Baits craw right here. Just in a Alabama craw, that orange green pumpkin right there. A little, I think this might be a 3 8 ounce tungsten weight there with a bobber stop there on a should be a four out wide gap EWG throwing it on spinning gear actually with a, I want to say a 12 pound test I do believe but yeah guys we have a great pattern going on right now and I think I'm just gonna pretty much focus in on these docks right here and it looked like one bass I caught you guys seen had a bloody tail that might have been a spawning male or female I'm not sure it was small but it was definitely bloodied up so that could have been our first early spawning bass of the year so i was kind of just keeping up on that pattern just seeing if we can find one of those big old spawners if they're spawning early um, i don't see any signs of beds shallow or anything yet but um there could be some beds deeper where i caught some of those fish off the front of the docks that are starting early i uh, can't really tell because the water isn't very clear like it normally is but i just want to update you guys on that let's see if we get some more beautiful day out high of 63 water temps are at 57.2 so definitely warmed up definitely warm enough for them to come in and spawn too so let's keep whaling on them guys and actually I'm gonna show you guys real quick it actually looks like we may get some rain it may start raining over there I'm not sure so I'm gonna keep an eye on that like I was saying the weather says no rain no storms but let me tell you what, that to me looks like a Dane storm. I don't know. Fishing has been so good, I may just risk staying out. Keep a keep an eye and ear out for thunder and lightning. Cause that's when I'm gonna want to dip. If it does decide the storm, but man, that sure does look like a storm. The weather's like nah, nothing. You're golden. They don't know nothing. Oh, there's a hit. Got him. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, you're fat. You're a fatty. Oh, that might be the biggest one of the day. Oh. <sighs> That might be a spawner right there. We're gonna go get a weight on her here. That one looks like she could be a spawner. Fat. Two, two, eight. Get her back in the water. Bring it right beside this dock, yes. Yes, I knew it. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nicer one.
this one needs a net. That might be the big one of the day. Ooh. Yes. Holy moly. Ooh. Look at that one, guys. That's a monster. Carl's amazing baits. That's what we're looking for. Three, five, five. Let me get one more weight. Three, five, five. Man, she looks so much bigger. She looks so much bigger than three, five, five. Right there. Oh my gosh. Three and a half pounder, but that's an absolute hog, man. That's that's the kind of fish we're looking for right there. <laughs> man, been flipping the front of these docks for a few hours just looking for one of these really nice ones. You seen I'm catching those pound, two pound fish. Finally pays off there with a big old largemouth bass, man. Get that big girl back in the water. Whew. That's just a toad right there. That's just a toad. There's one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. You get in the boat. Because I got you figured out. Okay? <laughs> There we go. That's what we're talking about right there. Boom! I love green backs, baby. Ah. Man, I just love bass fishing in general. I don't know what it is. I just love it. Got one. I had one. Trying to keep pressure on him. I don't know if he's still on or not. Oh, it broke right there anyway. If he was still on, it broke off. Alright, man. I don't know what he got me in right there. But it was good. <laughs> he followed it out pretty far. Oh, yeah. Not a bad one right there. He's a yellow bass. <laughs> Big old yellow tint to him. Oh, there we go, right there. See you, buddy. What a killer little bait right now. Killer little bait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Reverse, reverse, reverse. That was a hit, that was a hit. There's another one. Sorry to miss the hook set. I didn't realize the camera was off. Nice fatty. Oh. Nice fat fish right there. Boom. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a, that's a fat two pounder. Short and stubby. Oh, look at that belly. There we go. Gosh. Oh, 
Let's go, baby. Nice. We're on to them, guys. <laughs> man, catching a lot of these in a row, though. But, hey, that is still a lot of fun, man, right there. See you, buddy. Back in there looks pretty good, don't it? That looks pretty good back there. There's one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stay away from that duck. You stay away from that duck. <laughs> my gosh yes 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 you get in here right now sir you versus laser trocar laser trocar is gonna win every time my bud there we go thank you sir appreciate you biting welcome to youtube oh man i'm gonna have to be heading out of here soon guys about 5 30. gotta get home get some grub fishing is just so dang good right now yeah, you get out of there you get out of there little man <laughs> yes 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 get in the boat Ooh, you better than I thought. Welcome to the tube, baby. God, how about that for a pattern, guys? Unbelievable. Crazy. We figured them out. Oh, my gosh. You big old fat pig, you. Man. <sighs> quality fish, too, man. Catching quality fish. Let's go, dude. Man. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. I am going to be heading in here. In a few minutes, I'm gonna shoot back to uh, the boat launch, fish a couple more spots as I'm heading in, and then I'm gonna head on out of here. It's almost six o'clock. I am starving. I actually got pretty chilly out too, but fishing's been so good. I'm gonna hope to come out tomorrow morning, and uh, if that's if I can get up. I set my alarm and I usually set it back again for like another hour or so. But hopefully I come out tomorrow morning in the morning and I'm gonna try to do that same pattern with that craw, fish to docks, just see if they're there tomorrow too. I hope they are because I'm leaving them biting today and it's been really good. So 